What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick Hockey here back again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about something that was discussed um, earlier today on Insider Trading with TSN. I believe that was the segment, but regardless, it was on TSN. Um, Chris Johnston, who we we all know is very close um, to the Maple Leafs when it comes to reporting and stuff like that, made some comments on Jake Muzzin and gave us a little bit of an update now but before I get into this video I'd really appreciate if you like this video and subscribe I know there's a ton of people that watch these videos that aren't subscribed I'd really really appreciate that um, lots more coming as we get closer to the NHL trade deadline um, but thank you all for your support lately um, I really do appreciate it but Basically, if you go on Twitter right now, as you, you can see my Twitter account right now, at Andy Pillick, I, I made a tweet earlier, um, quote tweeting uh, a bit of a video clip that came out about, you know, them talking about what teams could be doing closer to the trade deadline. And of course, Jake Muzzin was brought up again because he was skating. Now, um, Jake Muzzin obviously hasn't been in the lineup since uh, February 21st. He had uh, a bit of a collision with... Chris Weidman on Montreal, as we remember. Um, so Muzzin has 12 points, 2 goals, 10 assists, averaging 21 minutes over 41 games this season. Um, and it's the second time he's been diagnosed with a concussion in less than like a couple months. So, it, and, and also there was a quote from Sheldon Keefe saying, Jake Muzzin has been feeling good for a little while now. Um, so no surprise to see him skating. Still no uh, timeline for his return. Now, getting back to that TSN clip, they were saying that he's probably about a month away from returning, maybe a little bit closer to that. There's not really that concrete of a timeline, but it doesn't look like Muzzin is going to be out um, until the playoffs. It looks like he will return before the playoffs start. Now, the reason why that is pretty significant is because the Toronto Maple Leafs would be getting a cap savings of like just under $6 million because they got as close to the cap as possible. So they would have had at least, you know, 5.6 million plus um, to go out there and spend if Jake Muzzin was still on long-term injured reserve. Now, I am in no way, you know, fighting for him to be injured or anything like that. As a person, I hope he's completely healthy and everything's great. But as a person that understands what probably is going on here is that somebody or him or whatever is is trying to, to get back into the lineup. Like, I think Jake Muzzin just wants to play. Um, I don't know if anybody's pushing him, uh, but it looks like he could be pushing himself to play. Um, I just, I don't know if this is the right move for him. As a person, I'd rather him just sit out and, you know, however long it takes, even if it's not the playoffs. Um, obviously, I'd love for him to be in there in the playoffs, healthy, playing 100%. But I just don't see how you have two concussions this close together um, with all the injury trouble that he's had before, and he's just going to come back before the playoffs start. Now, this is significant because um, there's just been reports that the Leafs have been into like all these, you know, um, defensemen and forwards and all this, uh, you know, they're doing their due diligence here, but it looks like none of that's really going to matter. The cap space that, that they're going to have in a crude cap space still could be about a million dollars. And then, of course, they can get salary retention. They can move out a contract, which we'll get to in a second here. But I just don't know if it makes the most sense. You can get a, a Jake Muzzin a lot healthier by sitting him out, which still could happen. I'm just reporting on what's been going on right now um, in terms of what's been said i haven't made a video in a couple days i've been so busy exhausted everything i've been working like crazy today i worked from 6 a.m till 6 p.m so just be, it's been nuts but the leafs obviously um currently right now um have like over five million dollars in cap space because of jake muzzin being on long-term injured reserve uh if nick robertson ultimately goes down that's even more money um, but the Leafs would have a lot of money to play with if they were able to sit Muzzin until the playoffs. Then they would bring him back um, with probably a new acquisition on the blue line, plus um, maybe somebody in the forward group. Who knows? But if he were to come back, it's going to be looking more and more like they're going to have to send Robertson down, which is the more than likely excuse me, uh, situation, and they would be right back to that $366,000 of cap space. Um, and 
you know, in a crude cap space, they probably would have a little bit of money to play with there. But it screams to me that they would have to have some money coming out. Obviously, two, four, six, eight defensemen, as you can see there, this would have to change. Does that mean that they move on from somebody like Travis Dermott? Do they move on um, from a Justin Hall? I'm not too sure. They could give themselves a little bit of cap space to play with here, which is, you know, not the worst. If you, you know, you trade a Justin Hall, there's $2.3 million in cap space. You know, if you trade, uh, if you, if you just trade Travis Dermott, that's another 1.86, but you can get half salary retention from a team. You could get even more salary retention from another team and they can make those moves and they'll have the cap space for it. But at the same time, what people need to understand is that if you do go that route and you get teams to eat half of a contract for that season or whatever it is, you have to give up additional assets for those teams to do that. It makes it a lot harder than if you were to just take on a bigger cap hit. Because at, at this point right now, if the Leafs were like, oh, we like this player, but he's like $3.6 million against the cap, we're going to have to get somebody to, to eat a lot of that money, maybe even bring in another team. If you had Jake Muzzin on LTIR, you could just bring in that contract. You would be able to say, okay, we're going to pay a price, but we're not going to pay even more of a price to get you to take on some of that contract. So again, I would love for Muzzin to come back. I'm a huge fan of the guy just as a person, um, as a human being. I really like Jake Muzzin. I think that he's a class guy. Um, he obviously makes this team better when he's healthy, and that's and that's the biggest thing. I don't think he's been healthy all season, to be honest with you. Um, I, I just think that an extended break into the playoffs would give this guy so much more. And it's not just about hockey. It's about the quality of living, like the quality of his life. Um, there's been reports that people around him are telling him to take the time off, you know, heal properly. Uh, but the fact that he's already skating and we haven't even hit the trade deadline yet, we're still weeks away. It's kind of inevitable. I, I think that he's going to be back fairly soon. Um, I would say within the month. Uh, I'm going to give a timeline of like three weeks. That's my guess, um, especially because he is skating. Uh, I know other players who have been injured, long-term injured reserve, have come out and, and skated and stuff like that. But it just seems like the Leafs were really looking at like, oh, like there's a chance he could be out for the rest of the season. And then now all of a sudden he's just already back skating. Keith saying he's been okay for a while now. It just doesn't seem to me like they're going to be holding him out any longer. Uh, and a move that would be substantial is probably not going to happen unless more assets are given to a team, multiple teams, um, for them to you know eat some of the money for another defenseman or another depth forward or anything like that. Um, and the other thing I'm really worried about too is if he just gets injured again in the playoffs and it's like you didn't go out there and get anybody else to try to fix that problem in the first place. So you're left without um, extra depth. You're left without, you know, a guy that can replace Muzzin um, unless you go out and trade for another guy. But I, I don't know. I, I just don't want them to look at this and say, oh, Muzzin's like a deadline acquisition for us on the blue line. They need more. They need more. It's been proven the last few years. It's not going to work. They, they need to acquire more. Um, and that's just how it's going to be. So I want to know what you guys think about this. Um, still, again, it's still very possible that he will uh, be out into the playoffs, but it's looking kind of unlikely at this point, in my opinion. Um, so let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, enjoy the game as well. I had to record this during the intermission. Uh, if you are new here, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Uh, I do love and appreciate you guys as always. Thank you so much for the support, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video or stream, go Leafs go. And more importantly, as the person, Jake Muzzin, get better soon. Peace.